So, um, in the lives of the rich and famous, the super rich and famous, you have Anat Ambani and um, his wife Radhika. Now they are on their honeymoon. You know about their wedding because it seems as if for this entire year, all of 2024, they've had lots of celebrations and this type of thing. They've been getting married. They've had so many ceremonies and whatever. Anyhow, it seems like they are married now. Or, or are they married yet? Have they had the wedding ceremony yet? I don't even know. But Justin Bieber um, was there and he was paid lots and lots and lots of millions to perform. And then of course, um, Rihanna was there as well. And Rihanna gave um, a very good performance, but uh, it really didn't matter because she was just fabulous. They were fabulous. Everything was fabulous. And they paid Rihanna a lot of money. And also Rihanna paired that with, um, you know, the Fenty kind of uh, soft launch. I don't even think they've launched in India yet, but this is kind of like in preparation for all of that because, you know, Fenty's going to make lots of money in India and um, and so on and, and make the brown women there even more beautiful than they already are, okay? So they've been following around Ambani and his, and Radhika, Radhika, it's a beautiful name. And people have been quite critical because he's a big guy. I'm going to show you some footage in a minute um, from TikTok. He's a big guy. I think he has some health problems and that type of thing that kind of has made him um, put a lot of weight on and so on and so forth. His wife is much slimmer and people are saying, well, gosh, look at that. <laughs> that there go the money. That, that's the money for you. You know, that type of thing but they've known each other for a very very long time dated for a very very long time and now they are married with the full support of not only his family but of course her family as well and we are talking about billionaires and like his father is the richest man in india but they're in paris now they've gone on holiday but it seems as if the whole family's gone on the holiday and i don't think that's very good for marriage but you know they are they are they probably have an understanding. I'll pull a few cards from this Rider Waite deck, okay? Um, just to see how things are. And I know it's early days yet, isn't it? You know, when you first get married, everything is kind of in the honeymoon uh, stage. And also people just want to get things right and everybody wants to please everybody else and, and stuff like that. But it seems like the whole family have gone on this honeymoon. So what kind of privacy do they have? And they've been outside quite a lot because they seem to enjoy uh, the paparazzi. They seem to enjoy having the paparazzi around them and, and lots of pictures and interacting with the public. <laughs> They're outside quite a bit. So I'll show you the video and then I'll pull a few cards, okay? Congratulations to the happy couple. But the wife don't look tremendously happen. It could be because, you know, mother-in-law and father-in-law are around all the time. And mother -in he's very much a mother's boy. He's mama's boy. the scene you can see they're outside of this exclusive hotel here it looks like the Ritz Carlton or something like that in Paris um, So 
I don't know if mum and dad are actually leaving and giving them some privacy. I don't know. Because they're saying, bye mum, bye dad, love you. Okay, they've gone off in the car. Radicals waved them. She said, bye bye mum, bye dad. We're outside the Four Seasons in Paris. Thank you. Happy to see you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The guy and Anat. <coughs> Excuse me. Anat is very, very humble. Very, very humble guy. Um, he loves his family. He loves his family. He loves animals. He really does love animals. He has like a large animal sanctuary in uh, in India. I forget the part of India where they're at, but um, they have a lot of respect, a lot of respect. As you know, India has massive population and then a lot of the population um, suffer from immense poverty and so on and so forth. The mother, she is involved in lots of charitable things, many, 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 many charitable things. She loves dance, so she supports numerous um, cultural dance thingy me bobs and so on. Let me pull some cards, okay? I'll pull some cards. Is Radhika happy? She seemed happy to say goodbye to her mother-in-law and father-in-law. Uh, general energy in their marriage, okay? You can see that they're holding hands. They they give very much kids, you know? Young, they, they, even though they're adults, they do act like very, very young kids. <laughs> the parents don't want them to grow up, even though the son has got married. Okay, let's have a look. This is the Rider right Waite deck. Oh, Knight of Swords. Let's get a clarification card for this Knight of Swords. Queen of Wands. Another card. Okay, four of wands. I think this might just be all perfectly normal. And then the moon card here in reverse. So what we have is a normal situation, but there is a secret. Somebody does have a secret. What's the secret? Hold on a second. Knight of Swords. Just get a clarification. Oh. Ten of Swords here. I would say that Ten of Swords is the clarification for the Knight of Swords upright and the Moon card in reverse. Just one second. I'm going to show you the cards again in a minute. Yeah. Six of, uh, six of Wands here in reverse. Okay, it looks as if there was somebody else who was interested in Radhika, okay? Um, this is uh, Anat's mother, this is Radhika's mother-in-law. You saw her there in the soft pink, uh, almost lilac suit there, and she was kissing the face of Anat, kissing Radhika. Mommy is going now, I'm going now. You all behave yourself, okay? Uh, so this is her, right? And she is the Queen of Wands here. So she did something in regards to this Knight of, of Swords. When I say did something, this is like a money transaction. I haven't had, no Pentacles cards have come up, but we have the Swords card here, okay? And we've got this Ten of Swords here in reverse. So family, this is a fairy tale, but it almost wasn't, okay? 
I do want to say this is for entertainment purposes only, but it's very, very strong energy for these guys. Okay? This is somebody who wanted Radhika. And, and that mother, she knew about this. And there was no way that she was, it's like a Bollywood movie. <laughs> there was no way that she was going to allow her son, Anat, to be unhappy and not have the fairy tale, not have his princess the way he wants. So there's some kind of payoff, some kind of take this and go away, substantial, substantial go away. Because it seemed as if this person, this Knight of Swords, <clears throat> who was somebody who loved uh, Radhika, wanted her for himself. Uh, we got the Six of Wands here in reverse. And the interesting thing about this Six of Wands card here in reverse, and of course we do have the Moon card here, okay, in reverse as well. And in this reading it does refer to secrecy as well as intuition and things being done under the cover of darkness and some kind of you know crazy move for want of a better word we've got this eclipse energy in the reverse okay so <clears throat> what we have here with mom is that mom knew about this guy but not only that a lot of other people knew about him as well this is the guy here the soldier on the horse and you can see he's wearing his laurel leaf bay leaf crown of victory but it's in the reverse and there are other people here in the background so what that means family is that this person came from a family who there was some competition for radica okay so it looked like radica had a lot of she i wouldn't say she had a lot of options but she had options and who cares whether you have a lot of options or not if they're all super billionaire rich so this is a very very wealthy man who lost because Anat's mom got involved in it and told him to go away and gave him a little Sutton as it as it seems so that this marriage could take place if she did not do that bright as the yellow is on her gown the bright yellow here of this daytime wedding would not have taken place daytime wedding auspicious wedding everything golden and golden this type of thing Okay, with three carat gold, darling. Okay. All of this, all the emeralds and the sapphires and the diamonds and all of these things would not have been able to have been worn at this wedding. Okay, so the mum, in many ways, paid for this to happen. Now, it sounds weird that like Radhika didn't have any you know option any choice in this type of thing where you think that when when two people get married it's because they want to be together but it seems as if she did have an option to be with somebody else but they made the deal sweet enough for her to continue her friendship she really does have a great friendship with Anat She's his, she, and she cares for him. You can see Radhika cares for him. But the romance aspect of it, you know? And he seems extraordinarily loyal, very loving, and very, very humble. He's a gentle guy. He's a guy that has a wonderful understanding of animals and, and the idea of rescuing animals and recreating their natural habitat so that they are at home. He has that innate in him. He has a wonderful, wonderful and great spirit. But some, some scoundrel <laughs> was around who is not necessarily a scoundrel because it's not like he wanted to hurt Anat, but he did want Radhika. And her mother decided that she needs to step in because she wants her son to be happy. Now, I know this is not a story that we hear all the time, but these are the super wealthy folks and they can do stuff like that. Mind you, this guy, who him and him are the same person, okay? The Knight of Swords and this guy here um, on the Six of Wands card in reverse. They're the same person. 
he never really need the money like that but whatever the deal was that she made with him in order for him to go away it must have been quite substantial so it may have been the offering of a uh, we call it a business contract of some some type the other um <laughs> ones here in the background usually when the card is upright it's about them cheering on this person okay when the card is upright it's hooray you've won you you're so successful you're successful in business you're successful in getting the girl and this type of thing but the card is in the reverse so these are the person this is the soldiers the, the the not soldier but the businessman whoever he is the knight of swords here and the guy here these are his family members and friends and so on that know that he have a thing for Radhika and really what would make his life complete is that if he was able it's like a strategic chess chess move to get the girl and you know it is about ego as well as well as him loving Radhika it's about ego you know kind of and you know that family the Ambani family they're used to to the idea of treachery you know because <laughs> uh, Radhika's father-in-law um, we call him Anat's father mommy's husband her husband him and his brother had a little situation together in terms of treachery and disloyalty and and snaking each other and that type of thing and doing each other but they're both tremendously well fabulously filthy rich um but there was a little something between brothers there so if, if there can be a little something between brothers it doesn't matter if you know a rival family comes in and wants to snatch radica for themselves and that type of thing radica very very uh sought after young lady she must have some very good tantra <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> me don't know so look the moon card here under the cover of darkness you know a crazy move so it must have been a crazy sum of money <laughs> that mommy uh, gave to keep her son happy my name is Miss Sam and this is the reading in regards to the happy occasion that almost didn't happen this is about Anat and Radhika and Barney super filthy rich and wealthy and uh, God bless them because they are both very very good people later I guess we should leave that on mommy should we <laughs> she, she, she the one that made all this happen yeah <laughs>